I have a I have a pickle urn. I make pickles. I'm going to do cucumbers this next year, a and I will make pickles. Urn? Yes. Is that isn't an urn what you put dead people in? Yes. No, an urn is an earthenware jar that you put things in for long-term storage. Dead people? Like if you're making mummies, you put like their heart in one, you put their kidneys in another. Those are... <laughs> the canopic jars, Mike. Jesus. <laughs> Use the correct fucking term. <laughs> and on that note, hi there. My name's Dakota. I'm with... Uh, Northern Knives, I'm also the web admin who's going to be editing out all that fun stuff you just saw, supposedly. Or didn't see, because you're going to You didn't out. see, because it <laughs> faded in from black, supposedly. I'm joined by... Alistair, I'm also with Northern Knives. I'm Lori, I'm with Northern Knives and 3DK and Avenue Scars. I'm Mike, and I'm with all those same places. And if you guys are lost at this point, Northern Knives is the largest... Full service, service shop, shop west of the Mississippi, mm -hmm. and possibly the largest knife shop on the West Coast, but we need to confirm that still. With who? <laughs> oh man, that's a cool knife. <laughs> Machete thing. What is that? Wait. Dakota. Um, thank you for joining us. Is this, oh, uh, is this thank metric? Thank you for joining us, everyone. <laughs> so are, are the degrees in metric? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know so metric. we're here to talk about uh, a who knife that surprisingly got what? Who are you? I'm Dakota. Oh, hi, Dakota. I'm, Dakota. I'm Lori. We already did our hey, intro. Hey, Lori. I'm Mike. Oh, hi, nice you to meet you. you. How are you doing? Yeah. We already doctor? did the intro. Cheers. Doctor. 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 Cheers. Doctor. Cheers. Doctor. Cheers. Doctor. 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 Right. Doctor. So, uh, should we mention that uh, these are Moscow mules? Yeah, we're having Moscow mules. How Vegas of us. <laughs> How cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. So, we're talking about a... Uh, all my ice is melted. I know, mine too. Odd. It's all watery. All right, sorry. Uh, Go for it. A Spetsnaz machete, a survival machete, uh, designed back in the 50s <coughs> for Russia's special forces. Um, I don't know. Do you guys have any thoughts on it? Or? It's quite special. It's heavy. I can't believe they were using Bakelite in the 50s. Yeah, Bakelite handle. This is an amazing... Are you sure this is not a re repro? Because this is in amazingly good condition. No, it's not a repro. It is surplus. Wow. I'm I'm surprised Bakelite held up that well. It's, it's never been used. It's never sharpened. <laughs> the strike saw, which is aggressive. It's never Ooh. been sharpened. Well, that's pretty Ooh. typical of uh, Russian military equipment. It's never, never been, been sharpened. <laughs> <laughs> those, um, those titanium bayonets. So there's a you don't fuller want to those, you get strike saw, a degree, like a protractor sort of thing. I think it's so you know what angle you hit the other guy's skull at. <laughs> oh, I feel like someone said that earlier. <laughs> This is in metric. <laughs> Are these metrics? This is metric. <laughs> metrics. Michael, what is metric? Uh, um, I don't know. I couldn't think of anything funny fast Pop enough. Pop quiz. How many centimeters are in a foot? Uh, oh, I don't know. It's 2.5 to an inch. So what's 2.5 times 12? Mm -hmm. That would be uh, 30. You are correct. Look at that. 18. 18? Are you kidding me? No. No, it's 30. 30 it's two centimeters point, it's two in point, a foot? It's 2.5 two times 12. It would be 24, and then 0.5 after that would be I'm 30. not that kind of engineer. Certainly not. Anyways, what are the holes for, Dakota? <laughs> Here's an oblong one for an oxygen tank. Which uh, An oxygen should tank one should have two flat sides. Except this is Russia, where we don't do that. <laughs> so um, one of the cool things about this guy, again, it's a survival machete. It, unfortunately, is very weighted towards the front because it has a hollow handle. <gasps> 200% cut. Lower class, medium, upper. Pasta. <laughs> pasta. Pasta. Pasta measurements. It, this is, this is uh, pasta for two, pasta for one, pasta for, uh, Sucks for you. <laughs> yeah, sucks to be pasta for four. <laughs> well, you have pasta for <laughs> living in the projects in Moscow. It's a five foot long <laughs> string of pasta. <laughs> Let's put it there. You had to break it 17 times. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where were we at? I don't um, know. Does anybody know? 200% <laughs> cut. No, so the... the hollow the, handle, though. You hollow brought up hollow the, handle. The kukri shape. Yeah, it, it supposedly is based off of a kukri. Um, so Russia took the design of a kukri and wanted to make it more of a survival knife, so they added the hollow handle, and then they normalized the form to make it easier to manufacture and stamp out in their factories. Also, one cool feature is you get a leather punch. Mmm. And then you have to use a leather punch to get the stupid baggie out. <laughs> stupid baggie. If you have little fingers, you don't. I don't have little fingers. I please, have fingers. please dig out vodka. Oh. Damn it. 
and what caviar. What is a cigar? That was a, uh, that was a lame, that was a lame, I heard typical a Russian joke. There's caviar in Yeah, there's supposed to be caviar in here. <laughs> there's a small map of the Urals in there, <laughs> so you can find your way around. So in the survival kit, I do believe fish hook. you get a oh fish my hook. Oh there's a fish hook. Two fish hooks. Oh, Looks like you tetanus. get tetanus. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Looks like you get. Don't start the match. You should. Go I want to see if I can start it's, it on. It's I wanted to try to start it on the serrations. Okay, that would be pretty brilliant, right? Do it on the top oh, of the ridges. Oh, you almost got it. On the top of the ridges. Damn, I got close. Haha! -ha. Oh, ho! That it's, is pretty brilliant. It is. Except it went out. Yeah, that's all right. We got more. Um, it also comes with some fishing line, three matches. So Mike Two just, matches. Mike just ruined one of his chances of living. <laughs> it comes with two, Good thing I got three fish hooks. Two fish hooks. <laughs> ah, shit. It comes two with two, two lead weights. You had one match and piece didn't work. Yeah, see? And then my understanding is you can use this leather punch for... as a fish hook as well if you need to. For That's larger a, for fish. a big-ass fish, though. Why don't you well, just noodle it? So this is little fish and <laughs> noodle it. <laughs> <laughs> you can take the baggie called? and put it in your hand, and then you can fishy, fishy, fishy. Isn't that what it's called? Noodling? Noodling, when you catch the catfish, catfish with your hand? Yeah, yeah it's noodling. Oh. I like how it stands up on the like own. I you make fun of me because I call it noodling. It's because of that big old fat fucking Bakelite handle. The Bakelite yeah. handle's awesome. And their Made in Russia sticker that looks like it was put it on three days ago, I'm going to be honest. Well, these were actually imported in the late 90s by Sovietsky.com. That is not... Typical at all. No. Um, I really want to strike another match on the strike saw. Can you light my uh, I was really cigar? impressed with that. Light my cigar. Hold on. <laughs> I blew that it was out. a uh, fan. Shit. You can do it. You can do it. Other direction. Do it the other way. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it is actually harder the other way. You wore it off. It's done. Yep. Not going to be able to do it a second time. That really? sucks. And that's not a special one. Ooh. And that's not a special match. Yeah, but... See, now we made it worse because it worked perfect the first time, and now we're just making it look like trash. <laughs> we can clean it. It's good thing we have two of these. <laughs> we do? We do. We do. We do. We have the technology. We actually got the this traded in. What was the guy said he said his dad brought it back from world war ii or something his grandfather supposedly brought this back from world war ii however it came with a soviet ski collection sheath which is only available <laughs> in the 90s it has a made in russia sticker that was printed on a computer oh wait so this is the newer one we have i thought we had an older one no th this is an older one it's russian surplus but after the soviet union collapsed okay in, in the mid-90s. They bought them and they redid them. Yeah, I see. They got I see, them. I see, I see. All the surplus stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it. it's Russian surplus. So it's cool. He's really fucking mistaken because this didn't exist until the 50s. So I at mean, the really earliest, his dad fought in the Korean War and somehow grandfather, stole it. Grandfather. How old was he? How many uh, Russians fought in the Korean War? Excuse my ignorance. Did the Russians fight in the Korean War? No, but they... Korean conflict, I mean? They supplied the North Koreans. But he said, this kid oh, okay. came in and said his right. grandfather that brought it back sense. in World War II. From, oh. from World War II. Okay. Yeah, from no, no, Russia. No. Yeah, no, no, no. What was he doing in Russia? His grandfather? Yeah. I know. Exactly. Didn't ask him. What, 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 Did he, you ask him? He just deserted through Turkey and went to Russia? I don't know. I didn't ask. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Maybe he's not from here. <laughs> This fool. How dare I assume his nationality? But overall, it's a really cool knife. And if you needed to fuck someone up or fuck a thing up, hit it with the back or the front. I'm gonna one. give it one more try here. Nope. Oh. Man, so close though. I, I can it's I can a little bit. see the smoke and I can smell it. This is how many so many so many Russian. Why they died? This is how many Russian. This is what happened at Stalingrad. Stalingrad. This is what happened at Stalingrad. Yeah, trying to get warm and bam, sucks. But no, that strike saw is really fucking aggressive. That's it. Did work once. No, I have been drinking since I mean, then. Look at this strike saw. That's, it is super aggressive. That's really. Impressive I would hate tool. to have to sharpen that, but Jesus, it is actually really. It wouldn't. Can you imagine the tooling it took to make that? 
The machine does all the work. Yeah. Yeah. Just go buttons. This is the 50s. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> nope. The machine really does all the work in the 50s. But it, it gives you all the measurements. It gives you the strike saw, <clears> which I think is pretty cool. It is kind of front heavy, which is the downside. Well, and that's that's are. cookery is supposed to be that way. That's the uh, that's basically one of the major designs of a 200% cut, is that this this 200% cut only works if you have a lot of weight hanging over the ass. It's like a 911, like a Porsche 911 only drifts well because the the engine's hanging out over the fucking back axle. Wee. It's not a mid-engine car. Yeah, you just swing it around. See, we're just making it look worse. If we'd have just left it on oh. the first one. It's the definition <laughs> of insanity. <laughs> nope. No, he just killed all 